page 66. Chloe's right, you say. And even if there are zombies, the police station would be the safer place in town. I just hope we find my dad on the way. Fine. But we should take the car, says Logan. I can drive. Well, I've been practicing with my mom. It's only a few blocks, but I'd rather not walk there. You agree. People are becoming more and more frantic. You go back to the car and Logan reaches for the driver's door. Suddenly, a middle-aged woman grabs him by the shoulder and tosses him to the ground. Hey! yells Logan as the woman climbs onto the car and peels out in reverse. People from the crowd dive out of the way as she turns the wheel too hard and smashes into a parked car. Angry people from the crowd run to the car and start pounding on the windshield. You've seen enough. It's time to go. The police station is only six blocks away, but the progress is slow. Traffic has come to a halt. People have flooded the streets and attempt to flee the city. Shouting fills the air mixed with an occasional shriek or revved, revving engine. You and your friends stick to the sidewalk, staying as close to the buildings as possible. After a few blocks, the chaos on the streets is incredibly worse. Non-stop screaming drowns out most of the other noise. Attacks similar to the one you witnessed with Mr. Miller are happening all over. The look in the eyes of people doing the biting chills you to the core. There's no doubt in your mind now those people are zombies. You finally reach the police station, but you run into a barricade of cruisers and a chain link metal fence. People desperately cling to the fence, begging to be let in, though no one is on the other side. You overhear a man talking to a small group of people near the fence. There's a safe zone on the northwest side of the city, he says. They have armed military personnel guarding a base filled with food, water, and everything else you need. Logan grabs your shoulders and pulls you and Chloe away from the crowd. You'll never make it to the crowd, he says. Look, Chloe found a small gap in the fence. We're going to crawl through and go down the alley. They might be away to the police station back there. To follow the small group to the safe zone, go to page 69. To go through the fence, the fence with Logan and Chloe, turn to page 72.